Procyon is one of the brightest stars in the night sky, easily visible to the naked eye, and it holds a significant place in both astronomy and various cultural contexts. Situated in the constellation Canis Minor, Procyon, also known as Alpha Canis Minoris, is the eighth brightest star in the sky. It has been a subject of interest for astronomers since antiquity due to its brightness, its role as part of the Winter Triangle, and its interesting physical characteristics, including its status as a binary star system. The name and its origins, the name Procyon, comes from the Greek Prokion, meaning before the dog, a reference to the fact that it rises before Sirius, the dog star in the constellation Canis Major in the night sky. This naming convention has been retained in modern astronomy and is reflected in the Latinized form of the star's name, Procyon. The ancient Greeks and Romans associated the star with various myths and legends, often linking it to the idea of a small dog, Canis Minor, that accompanied Orion, the great hunter. In some mythological interpretations, Procyon represented the loyal companion of Orion, always following its master across the sky. Location and visibility Procyon is located in the constellation Canis Minor, which is a relatively small constellation but quite prominent due to the brightness of Procyon. The star is part of the Winter Triangle, a prominent asterism that includes Betelgeuse in the constellation Orion and Sirius in Canis Major. The Winter Triangle is a useful tool for stargazers as it helps in locating these three stars in the winter sky of the Northern Hemisphere. Procyon is relatively close to Earth, at a distance of about 11.46 light-years, making it one of our closest stellar neighbors. Its proximity, combined with its intrinsic brightness, explains why it is so prominent in the night sky. With an apparent magnitude of 0.34, Procyon is easily visible even in areas with moderate light pollution. Astronomical characteristics, Procyon is a binary star system, consisting of a primary star, Procyon A, and a faint white dwarf companion, Procyon B. This binary nature was first suggested by the irregularities in the motion of Procyon A, which led astronomers to hypothesize the presence of an unseen companion. Procyon A Procyon A is a white-hued main-sequence star of spectral type F5 IVV, indicating that it is in a transitional phase between the main sequence and becoming a subgiant star. It has a mass about 1.5 times that of the Sun and a radius approximately 2.1 times larger. With a surface temperature of around 6,530 Kelvin, Procyon A is hotter and more luminous than our Sun, emitting approximately seven times more energy. The star is relatively young, with an estimated age of around 1.7 billion years, which is considerably younger than the Sun. However, it is evolving more rapidly due to its greater mass, Procyon A is currently in a phase where it is exhausting the hydrogen fuel in its core and will eventually expand into a red giant as it moves off the main sequence. This process will take place over the next few hundred million years, ultimately leading to the star shedding its outer layers and forming a planetary nebula, leaving behind a white dwarf remnant similar to Procyon B. Procyon B Procyon B, the companion star, is a white dwarf with a spectral type of DQZ. It is significantly smaller and less luminous than Procyon A, with a mass comparable to that of the Sun, but a radius only about 1.4% that of the Sun. This makes Procyon B a very dense object, typical of white dwarfs, where the matter is in a degenerate state. Procyon B is a fascinating object in its own right representing the final evolutionary stage of a star that was once much like our Sun. It is a stellar remnant, no longer undergoing nuclear fusion, and its light is due to the residual thermal energy from its previous evolutionary phases. Over billions of years, Procyon B will continue to cool and fade, eventually becoming a cold, dark black dwarf. Although this process will take longer than the current age of the universe, the binary nature of Procyon was confirmed through direct observation, and the two stars orbit each other with a period of about 40.8 years. The orbital separation between Procyon A and Procyon B varies between 8.9 and 21.0 astronomical units, depending on where they are in their elliptical orbit. 
This distance means that the two stars are relatively far apart, which is why Procyon B is not visible without a telescope. Astrophysical importance Procyon has been extensively studied in the field of astrophysics due to its proximity and its binary nature. It serves as an excellent laboratory for testing theories of stellar evolution, particularly in understanding the transition from a main sequence star to a red giant and the subsequent formation of a white dwarf. Procyon in cultural contexts. Throughout history, Procyon has been significant in various cultures around the world. Its prominence in the sky has led to its inclusion in myths, navigation, and even agriculture. In ancient Greece and Rome, as mentioned earlier, the Greeks and Romans associated Procyon with Canis Minor, the lesser dog, and linked it to the myths of Orion the hunter. The star's heliacal rising, its first appearance in the dawn sky, was used as a marker for the onset of summer, a period associated with heat and drought. This connection to seasonal changes made Procyon an important star in agricultural societies. In Egyptian mythology, Procyon, along with Sirius and the star Canopus, was significant in ancient Egyptian astronomy and mythology. These stars were associated with the Nile's flooding, which was critical to Egyptian agriculture. The heliacal rising of these stars marked the beginning of the Nile's inundation, and they were often associated with the gods in the afterlife. In Chinese astronomy, Procyon is known as Nan He San, Nan He San, in Chinese, which means the third star of the Southern River. It is part of the asterism known as the Southern River, which also includes stars from the constellation Monacaros. Procyon was one of the stars used in traditional Chinese star lore, where it was considered one of the most important stars in the sky. In Polynesian navigation, the stars of the Winter Triangle, including Procyon, were crucial for Polynesian navigators who used them to travel across the vast expanses of the Pacific Ocean. The position of these stars helped ancient navigators maintain their course over long distances, demonstrating the importance of Procyon and other bright stars in practical applications. Procyon in modern astronomy. In contemporary astronomy, Procyon continues to be a star of great interest. It is a frequent target for amateur astronomers due to its brightness and visibility in both the northern and southern hemispheres. The star's relative proximity to Earth makes it an ideal candidate for parallax measurements, which help determine distances to other stars. Procyon is also often used in educational settings to demonstrate concepts such as binary star systems, stellar evolution, and the life cycles of stars. Its binary nature provides a clear example of how stars can evolve and interact over time, making it a valuable teaching tool. The study of Procyon has also contributed to our understanding of stellar dynamics, particularly in binary systems. The precise measurements of Procyon A and B's orbital parameters have allowed astronomers to test general relativity, as the orbit of Procyon B around Procyon A exhibits slight deviations from Newtonian predictions due to relativistic effects. Procyon and the future. Looking ahead, Procyon will continue to be an important star for both professional and amateur astronomers. As Procyon A evolves into a red giant, it will provide a first-hand look at the processes that lead to the death of stars similar to the Sun. The eventual fate of Procyon A will be to shed its outer layers and become a white dwarf, joining its companion, Procyon B, as a stellar remnant. This transition will not occur for several hundred million years, but when it does, it will offer an extraordinary opportunity to observe stellar evolution in real time. Procyon B will also continue to cool and fade, providing a long-term study of the cooling process in white dwarfs. Conclusion Procyon, with its brightness, proximity, and fascinating binary nature, remains one of the most important stars in the night sky. Its role in various cultures, its significance in astrophysics, and its place in the larger context of stellar evolution make it a star worth studying and appreciating. As we continue to explore the cosmos, Procyon will undoubtedly remain a key object of interest, both for professional astronomers and those who simply enjoy gazing at the stars. Procyon's place in the modern sky. In the modern sky, 
Procyon is a beacon that can be easily spotted by stargazers throughout the world. During the winter months in the Northern Hemisphere, Procyon's brilliance helps form the Winter Triangle along with Sirius and Betelgeuse, a triangular formation that stands out against the backdrop of the night sky. This triangle is not only a guide for locating other celestial objects, but it also adds a touch of familiarity and warmth to the cold winter skies. For amateur astronomers, Procyon is a favorite target for small telescopes. Although Procyon B is challenging to observe due to its faintness and proximity to the much brighter Procyon A, spotting the white dwarf companion is a rewarding experience for those with the right equipment and conditions. Observing Procyon provides a glimpse into the life cycle of stars, from the main sequence phase of Procyon A to the white dwarf remnant of Procyon B. Cultural significance in the 21st century. Even in the 21st century, Procyon holds cultural significance beyond its scientific value. The star's name appears in various contexts, from science fiction literature to the naming of companies and products, reflecting its enduring presence in human imagination. In popular culture, Procyon has been referenced in works of fiction, such as Isaac Asimov's Foundation series, where it is mentioned as one of the locations of human colonization in the galaxy. Procyon's role in navigation, both ancient and modern, underscores its importance across time. Even today, navigators and astronomers alike can appreciate the star for its guiding light, just as the Polynesians did centuries ago. Its visibility from both hemispheres and its position near the celestial equator make it an almost universal star, visible to most of the world's population at some point during the year. The future of Procyon studies. Looking to the future, Procyon will continue to be a focal point for scientific research, especially in the field of stellar astrophysics. As technology advances, more detailed studies of Procyon's internal structure and its binary companion will be possible. The development of more powerful telescopes and space observatories will allow astronomers to study Procyon B in greater detail, enhancing our understanding of white dwarfs and the end stages of stellar evolution. Additionally, the study of Procyon's stellar oscillations through astroseismology will likely yield even more insights into the star's internal processes. As a relatively close star, Procyon serves as a benchmark for testing new astronomical instruments and techniques. This proximity also makes it an excellent candidate for future missions that aim to study nearby stars in unprecedented detail. In educational settings, Procyon will continue to be used as an example of a binary star system and as a key star in teaching the fundamentals of astronomy. Its ease of observation and the richness of its physical characteristics make it an ideal subject for both introductory and advanced studies in the field. Conclusion the timelessness of Procyon Procyon's story is one of enduring significance. From its early observation by ancient civilizations to its current role in modern astronomy, Procyon has been a constant companion in the night sky, guiding humanity's understanding of the universe. Its dual nature as a binary system, combining a luminous main sequence star with a faint but scientifically rich white dwarf companion, provides a complete narrative of stellar evolution the name Procyon carries with it a legacy of exploration, both literal and metaphorical. It represents the curiosity of ancient stargazers, the dedication of astronomers who studied its orbit and composition, and the ongoing quest to understand the cosmos. As Procyon A continues its journey toward becoming a red giant and eventually a white dwarf, it will remain a key player in our study of the stars. For those who look up at the night sky, Procyon serves as a reminder of the vastness of the universe and the interconnectedness of all stellar bodies. Whether you're an astronomer tracking its every move or a casual observer marveling at its brightness, Procyon offers something for everyone, a symbol of the infinite wonders of the cosmos and our place within it.